ITER, which stands for the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is a large-scale international project currently under construction in Saint-Paul-les-Durances, southern France. Its primary goal is to demonstrate the scientific and technological feasibility of fusion power. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, project is a monumental effort, standing as the world's most formidable construction challenge. This effort, spearheaded by scientists and construction experts, aims to replicate the processes occurring inside the sun, harnessing nuclear fusion for a virtually limitless, clean energy source. The task demands one of the most extensive international collaborations ever seen, as 35 nations have come together to build the world's largest and most powerful as nuclear fusion and reactor. For decades, the dream of harnessing nuclear fusion has been just that, a dream. But now, it represents the greatest hope for generating clean power. If successful, ITIR could revolutionize the energy sector, fundamentally altering how the world generates electricity and significantly reducing humanity's reliance on fossil fuels. Today marks an extraordinary milestone in this quest. Like learning about revolutionary tech like ITER. Subscribe now to stay updated on the world's most important science and innovation stories. The promise of nuclear fusion. Why, it's a game changer. Nuclear fusion has been a long-standing dream for scientists worldwide. And today, 35 nations have united their collective resources and expertise to build ITIR. This unprecedented collaboration is essential for the realization of fusion energy. Without it, the ambitious goal of the ITIR project would simply be impossible. Fusion represents the ultimate energy source in the universe. Unlike nuclear fission, which splits atoms, Nuclear fusion forces atoms together to release massive amounts of energy, mimicking what happens naturally in the core of the sun. This process generates millions of times more energy than traditional fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, or gas, while producing no harmful greenhouse gases like CO2. More importantly, fusion reactors don't create long-lived radioactive waste making them a safer and more sustainable energy option compared to traditional nuclear reactors. The fusion process relies on two isotopes of hydrogen, tritium and deuterium, both of which are abundant and can be sourced from seawater. It sounds simple, but achieving fusion on Earth in a controlled and sustained manner has proven incredibly difficult. The challenge, why fusion has eluded scientists. The core challenge of achieving nuclear fusion lies in the extreme conditions needed to make the atoms fuse. To replicate the sun's fusion process, temperatures of over 150 million degrees Celsius are required, hotter than the core of the sun. This creates the plasma, a superheated gas of charged particles that is necessary for fusion. But keeping plasma stable at such extreme temperatures, while also containing it inside a vacuum, is no small feat. At the heart of ITIR lies the tokamak, a giant chamber designed to achieve this. Using powerful magnets and extreme heat, the tokamak creates a vacuum in which plasma can be generated and contained. This device is the key to unlocking the potential of fusion energy. The ITIR Tokamak, a marvel of engineering. The tokamak is a marvel of engineering, featuring over a million components and 10 million individual parts. Each one must be perfect. There is no room for error. These components are carefully transported to the ITER site, where they are assembled in a vast assembly hall. The sheer size of the space is awe-inspiring, and every time workers step into the assembly hall, they are struck by the enormity of what is being built. 
the construction of the tokamak is a monumental task in itself. Components must be assembled with an unprecedented level of precision, particularly the vacuum parts, which must be leak-tight to maintain the necessary conditions for fusion. To meet these demands, ITIR has developed cutting-edge welding and leak detection technologies capable of detecting the smallest leaks, even those smaller than the width of a single hair. A construction of feet, the scale and complexity of ITIR. The ITIR, site in southern France, spans 180 hectares, nearly the size of Monaco, and houses 39 different buildings. The scale of the construction is simply staggering. The Tokamak building itself is a seven-story structure rising 60 meters above ground and extending 13 meters below it. Workers are also constructing a wide array of facilities, including cooling towers, control rooms, waste management areas, and a cryogenics plant that will produce the liquid helium needed to cool the superconducting magnets. The construction process involves the collaboration of numerous companies worldwide, including the VFR Consortium, Vinci, Razelbeck, and Ferrovial. These companies have spent over a decade working on the Tokamak complex and other critical structures. The engineering challenges they face are immense, but the teamwork and dedication to the project have made a significant progress possible. Enjoyed this deep dive into mega projects? Hit subscribe to never miss an update on cutting edge science and future shaping technology. Building the foundations. A close look at the tokamak's structure. One of the most crucial parts of ITIR's construction is the foundation of the tokamak itself. The reactor will be supported by 500 seismic bearings designed to absorb any seismic shocks and ensure the stability of the reactor during operation. This attention to detail extends beyond the surface, where every part of the tokamak's foundation must be perfectly aligned to ensure the machine functions correctly. The tokamak's underground slab is a vital component of the reactor's design, and seeing it up close is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The magnitude of this construction project is beyond comprehension. The Tokamak's foundation will support a machine that weighs as much as three and a half Eiffel Towers, yet everything must be perfectly positioned to ensure flawless operation once fusion begins. Cryostat and magnets, the heart of ITIR's technology. A critical component of the Tokamak is the cryostat, the world's largest stainless steel vacuum chamber, which is designed to keep the machine's magnets cool. These superconducting magnets must be kept at near absolute zero, 269 degrees Celsius, to generate the magnetic fields necessary for maintaining plasma. Without these cooling systems, the entire reactor would fail to function. The cryostat which weighs nearly 4,000 tons, was constructed in India and transported to the ITIR site in stages. Its sheer size posed significant logistical challenges, with specially modified roads and vehicles required to move it to the facility. This was just one example of the many hurdles overcome in the construction of ITIR. The Tokamak's Magnets Superconducting Coils of Power Another critical component of the I-tier reactor is the superconducting magnets, particularly the toroidal field coils. These magnets are the largest and most powerful ever designed, and they play a crucial role in maintaining the plasma stability. The coils weigh over 6,000 tons, which makes them a quarter of the total mass of the entire project. They were produced in Japan and shipped to the ITER site for assembly. International collaboration, overcoming cultural and logistical challenges. The ITER project is one of the most international scientific endeavors in history, with over 15,000 workers from 5,000 companies representing nearly 90 countries. 
while the engineering challenges are immense, the logistical and cultural challenges are equally significant. With such a diverse workforce, communication can be challenging, but teams have found ways to collaborate effectively, overcoming language barriers and different working styles to achieve their shared goal. ITIR's next steps towards a fusion future. Despite setbacks, including issues with cooling pipes and delays in the assembly of some components, ITIR is steadily moving forward. Once completed, the goal is not to generate electricity for the grid, but to demonstrate that fusion can be achieved at scale. ITIR's success will lay the foundation for future fusion reactors, paving the way for clean, sustainable energy for generations to come. It's important to note that the ITIR project has faced delays and cost overruns. The latest schedule anticipates deuterium-deuterium plasma operation starting in 2035. This phase will focus on testing the machine and plasma control without significant fusion power production. Deuterium-tritium plasma operation with significant fusion power planned to begin around 2039. These timelines represent the current best estimates and are subject to further review. The future of energy is bright. In conclusion, while ITIR hasn't yet produced a burning plasma or demonstrated sustained high-power fusion, the significant progress in its construction and the successful development of key technologies strongly suggest that achieving the project's scientific and technological goals is feasible. The ongoing work and future experimental campaigns will ultimately determine the extent of this feasibility and pave the way for future fusion power plants. ITIR represents the pinnacle of human ambition and collaboration in the quest for clean, limitless energy. While there are many challenges still ahead, the potential rewards are unmatched. If successful, nuclear fusion could provide the world with a virtually inexhaustible supply of clean energy, transforming the way we live and powering a sustainable future for all. The pursuit of this dream continues, and the world is watching as ITIR's groundbreaking work pushes the boundaries of science, technology, and human collaboration. While ITIR itself is an experimental reactor and not designed to produce electricity commercially, the entire project is fundamentally a large-scale feasibility study. The primary conclusion drawn so far is that achieving and sustaining a burning plasma, where the fusion reactions generate enough heat to maintain themselves, is scientifically and technologically within reach. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the ITIR project, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on cutting edge technology and scientific breakthroughs. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Keimlude Media. Thank you.